My name is Judith Klein and I represent both Brazil and Hungary. The artwork I brought his, here is a part of a series of five uh, pictures of uh, this size. They are all about Brazil. Uh, with this one I participated in Last Biennale and this is a new one. This is Rocinha, favela in Rio de Janeiro. And this is Salvador, uh, Bahia, one of the states of the 27 states of Brazil. Uh, 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 the other three are going to be about the Amazon, about the Iguazu Falls, and about uh, Sao Paulo. This te uh, technique that I work with is, uh, well, they call it mixed media because I use several different kinds of, all kinds of material. I use paper, I use carton, I use uh, wood, I use uh, foam, uh, styrofoam, uh, glue, every kind, all kind of material, whatever I find in the streets. And I put them together, cut, uh, print, uh, glue, paste, uh, I mix all kind of uh, materials with all kind of techniques and uh, put them together. Some call it uh, also either collage or assemblage. I don't know which one is the more, more adequate. It is collage or assemblage. Uh, I use, usually I use a background with uh, houses and uh, uh, buildings because I am an architect and I have a special uh, feeling towards the architecture. But in these two pictures I found it very important to put also life, to put people, people who uh, represent the population of Brazil. Brazil has uh, uh, immigrants from, from all the world, uh, immigrants from um, also from Italy. There is a lot of Italian people living in Brazil. Italian, Arab, uh, uh, Spanish, Portuguese, Chinese, Japanese, uh, from all the world, and they make a, a special kind of uh, uh, people who live in Brazil. They, are, they have all the good things about these different nationalities brought together, and they make a very kind, kind very kind kind of pe person who is very agreeable, very sympathetic, they are always ready to help, and what is more important, they always enjoy life. They love everything, the good things about life. They love to eat, to drink, to dance, to sing. This is what is, uh, you know, this is what the, it is the most important about Brazil and the Brazilian people. I try to show this joy of life in my, my work. Despite the fact that the, the favela is where the poor people live, despite this fact, they, li they love living here. They say Rocinha is the best and the, uh, the bigger, the best and the most beautiful favela in all the world. This is what, what they say about this poorer part of Rio de Janeiro. Here also, this is an old uh, city called Salvador. Uh, this used to be, this once was the capital of Brazil. This was where the Portuguese, when they came to Brazil, they installed here the capital and the rich people lived here in the upper high, in upper part of the city while the poor or the fishermen live in the uh, lower part of the city. In the middle of this, uh, this square, 
There used to be a um, uh, obelisk where they uh, tied those slaves who tried to escape. The slaves who tried to escape were punished. They were beaten. They were punished to not to do this again. Uh, but the place that once was where people suffered uh, the consequences of what they did bad, the same place uh, is now uh, the, the place where people come for entertainment. They come for um, in, Jew, in uh, days of uh, peace, when they celebrate feast, they come and uh, he, here they eat, they drink, they dance, they sing. In this first plan here, I put all the famous singers and actors and uh, writers and poets, all uh, from Bahia, all that were born in Bahia. Uh, for example, Jorge Amado, who is a very, the most famous uh, writer in Brazil. Jorge Amado is Bahian. Now he's dead, but he wrote a lot of uh, romances and a lot of, uh, uh, there were a lot of films made of, uh, about his uh, book. Uh, Gabriela Cravi Canela is one of the famous ones. Gabriela Clove and Cinnamon is one of the famous ones. Then he wrote uh, Dona Flor and her two husbands. There is also another writer, very famous and very good, which is not so funny as Jorge Amado. It is Diaz Gomez. Diaz Gomez wrote a, wrote a very important uh, um, story about about José do, Zé do Burro, and this story passes on this uh, uh, stairway that leads to uh, this. Uh, uh, church up here and this film in 1962 went won the Cannes Film Festival uh, Golden Pound the most important uh, prize uh, movie prize in 1962 uh, I gave uh, I, I highlighted this church here because I think it is one of the most impressive stories about how Bahi and uh, people live. Bahia means people who live in the state of Bahia. There is this uh, long story about this and I know, I'm not sure if it is here the place to talk about. I lived for a long time in Sao Paulo, the biggest city of South America. I lived in Sao Paulo since I was a child and very young as a student I went to uh, fine arts, to study fine arts in Sao Paulo. Uh, for a while I didn't have enough time both to make a living and both to dedicate to art. This is why only recently after I moved to Hungary in 2008 it is when I started, uh, I didn't start, I mean I dedicated more of my time to this, uh, this kind of thing. Uh, at the beginning, I, it, I didn't begin doing three-dimensional di uh, uh, artwork. I started like everybody else, painting. Then I, I tried all kind of technique, like oil on canvas. I uh, did also pastel on paper. Uh, I did some sculpture, I did, did some uh, uh, craft with all kind of materials also and the first collage of mine were also uh, are, are, were flat where I used to different uh, colors of paper only paper and cut just as anybody else does the collage which means very close uh, one piece to the other not leaving not even a very very thin uh, space between them. That was the uh, main uh, rule about collage. Collage, you were not allowed to leave space between two pieces of paper. And uh, it was all flat. It was 
like uh, how do you say it was landscape mainly with buildings uh, little houses bigger houses landscape with mountains at the background but there was no life there was only uh, only the only the bad thing when in this uh, uh, with this work here I participated in the Biennale I introduced life in my work and you see uh, uh, people going down back and forth in the very narrow uh, street where cars go both way, go that way and come back almost almost uh, uh, hitting one another and people in the middle and the, I, not here but there are also uh, horses uh, going up and down and uh, lots but lots of kids many 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 kids uh, on this one I want to uh, to highlight the presence of three boys this boy here sits on the pile of trash and he is uh, using his computer using his uh, uh, notebook He's sitting here, uh, working on his uh, notebook. There is a second one on the top of the house with his kite. There is a kite here. This, bo this boy is uh, 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 doing kiting. And these two boys here playing football, which means that all uh, kinds of activities beginning with the little uh, uh, children in the favela they are they are all present okay this is what i have to say about uh, this uh, work of mine which is the latest but i did a lot of others other things not so figurative but also abstract and also other techniques as i told you uh, not only collage with paper. <laughs>